Well, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to another Construct Game Dev stream. Hope you're all well on this uh, lovely Tuesday afternoon. Oh. Right, let's, uh, let's kick this off, shall we? I mean, you know, it's really exciting. You just get to see the Construct 3 start page right now. But uh, yeah, I've seen Kiatric in the chat. I've seen, who else have I seen in here? There's a few, uh, a few of you lurking, happy to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Uh, today, let's uh, switch up the tunes. Today we're going to be continuing on from last week when I tried and failed miserably to make a transition system between layouts in my game. Um, uh, we, I sat down with uh, Nepio afterwards and he very kindly helped me fix it. Uh, so much so there is actually now a tutorial all about it on construct.net with an example file and everything. So none of you guys will have to suffer like I did. Yay! That's why I'm here. I'll do all this rubbish for you. Uh, so I suppose we're gonna have a... We do a quick run through of what's in that example. It's basically the same as what I was trying to get to work in uh, the game last week. Pretzel, you're still very loud. There we go, that'll do. Um, yes, eventually with variables and paired sprites and other bits and pieces managed to get it working. So we have our event block to make sure all our animations line up, the actual area change event block and the transition itself. Um, you could use the fade behavior for this, but I've used manual opacity, mostly because I lifted it out of Diva Noir. But that's what the example projects are there for. Uh, so, please start on the right layout. Nope. Cool. Zoom out quickly. So, for simplicity, I've chucked everything onto two layouts. I could have probably squashed them into one layer, but I couldn't be able to deal with uh, stuff. Hi, Metal Quaker. Hi, Samix Developer and Samuel SB7 with the. Octopus, I'm going to say. Is that an octopus? Probably. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you're enjoying your Tuesday. Yes, so we can walk around, yay. And the big arrow tells you that this is where the transition is made. And we go to layout two, hooray. We can go back and forth. And we're always facing the right way, and we always appear where we left, which is quite nice. A lot of faffing, but hey, it's there, it works, and hopefully, as I will endeavour to prove today, it is hopefully scalable. So that's the example file, it's included in the tutorial, which is available at construct.net. Enjoy. Ah, oh, let's close that, otherwise I'm going to get confused. And we shall open my test project, and at some point I'll transfer all this lovely stuff into my actual project once I've done some more tile maps and whatnot. Skyman, welcome to the stream. How are you this afternoon? Well, I hope. Uh, right, what we can do, as a little aside, that doesn't look right. I guess it must be because those are the measurements I put in. <laughs> okay, tile map. Now this is going to be fun. Now, oh, if I change the tile map, then that's all going to go funny. Oh, now <laughs> let's just have a laugh. Let's see what happens. Because there is a new version of the tile map. As I've been doing a few more bits and pieces of sprite work and whatnot. If you've uh, had a look at the um, blog which goes along with this then you will probably see the efforts of my uh, 
graphic work. Oh, this isn't going to work, is it? I'll never make this thing work. Because it's not a tile map file, it's an image file. Uh, da, 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 where did I save it? My assets. Uh, version 3. Let's see what this does. <laughs> oh, there. Nothing, apparently. Cool. Well, it's staying like that and I'm not putting anything new in because I don't want to mess around with this. Started working on your battle system. Ooh, using shiny new JavaScript stuff. I hope you're enjoying it. Hi, I, Roger H. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here after your uh, holly bobs. Which, as we understand, were rather enjoyable. We are in, uh, appreciating the uh, maple-themed goodies that got brought back. Good biscuits. So, we want a new layout. Which, like the others, 576 by 576. Because I've decided a 36 by 36 grid is a good idea. So, 36... 16 pixel tiles, I should say. At some point I will name this city something more imaginable than starting city, but hey, I'm terrible at naming things. Uh, let's do the shopping district. And then we need another one. Also, rename. Research. Yes. So, uh, maybe I should invest in a webcam and I can show you all my uh, really, really impressive uh, squared paper drawings that I keep track of everything with. Huh. Engineer WR, welcome to the stream. How are you this fine Tuesday? Hope you're well. Mm. Oh, before I like dive into this, one thing I will say is thank you everyone because not only have we hit more than 100 followers, which is very exciting, but very soon we will be setting up affiliate on this stream, which is quite exciting. So we can have bits and subscribers and reruns. So even if I'm not here, there'll still be content for you guys to enjoy and other bits and pieces. I did also implement because, you know, I like leaderboards and whatnot. I don't know if that's actually appeared at the bottom of the channel. Hopefully it has. But if you type in the command points, then Streamlabs should tell you how many points you have. It's very silly, but hey, who doesn't like to know the top of the leaderboard? Whatever. Uh, the other thing, if anyone is curious and wants to know what we're up to, we also have the commands, I believe, game. Hey! So if you type in game, exclamation mark game, then that tells us what game we're playing on a Thursday. Now, what did I do for this one? Was it development, maybe? Nope, that's obviously not a thing. I'll look that up. There is a uh, another command for making a game. So if people come in and they want to know what we're up to, that's a very easy way to... Uh, Explain without me having to repeat myself about 50 million times. Erk Mario and Samuel SB, thank you both very much for the follow. Much appreciated. <sighs> yeah, there is also, I'm hoping these are going to work. At various points, um, the bot should come up with a link to the blog and the forum post. So if at any point you want to give us some feedback about the streams or about the game that we're working on, or if there's anything you want to see or talk about, then um, you can have a chat with us on the blog or the forum and uh, we can work on making these uh, better. Is this stream supposed to learn others or is it just making games with C3? So basically I am a beginner with Construct 3. I have worked for this company for three years and I figured I should probably actually learn how to use this software. So I will be making a game. Uh, this is basically me live streaming my development journey. Uh, embarrassing myself on the internet is uh, one of the things I'm quite good at. But hopefully through doing this, I will be able to make resources to help other people. So I've already published one tutorial um, following last week's disaster. 
Um, so yes, it's kind of, you might learn something, you might just get a laugh out of watching me flounder. Hopefully it'll get, you know, better as I learn more. So yes, I'm annoyed I can't remember what that command is, <laughs> but never mind. Okie dokie, right, what we need in here is one of those. Oh, I haven't got the grid on, have I? Do -do -do. Which later on research. Arigato Ishima, thank you very much for the follow. I apologise if I pronounced your name wrong. Pronunciations are not my strong point. <laughs> even relatively simple looking things I struggle with. But hey, there you go. So, let's see, we don't want this because this is the same as residential. I need some grass. Fill everything. Actually, you know what? This is much easier. Whee! Boom, green, let's start again. So, in this area, all right, let's see if I, Nah, they're on a square, it doesn't matter. So the idea with this area is that the city is broken down into four districts, each one will link to each other. So this is the ideal point to test if this system of transitions that I have set up is actually scalable. Um, oh yeah, that was the other command I meant to do, it was a schedule, I'll uh, put that in. Yes, Kiatric is right, I stream every Tuesday, every Thursday. If you scroll down below the, um, player on Twitch, you should see all of our panels, which is full of lovely information like that. Uh, there's a schedule there, there's what we're playing, what we're building, a little bit about the company, a little bit about Construct 3, bits and pieces. And a pig, because who doesn't love the pig? Now where are my payments? There's my payments. And we want to be 15 across. If I move my bottle, I might actually be able to see the uh, things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There. Oh, don't do that. Eight, 14, 15. And we have a pavement that goes all the way down. Then, other side. And we are five across. One, two, three, four. Five. So there, I'll sort that out in a minute. So that's not quite right. Yeah, I will probably upload a few more of these uh, work in progress things on the blog, or maybe in the forum, just so I can share my progress. No, the title of the game is definitely not Pokemon. I mean, it's not, it will actually have a reasonable title, but as we've as I discussed a minute ago, I am rubbish at naming things. Uh, so actually we want that to go there. It goes up. Oh. Pay attention to what tool you're using. So you don't make stupid mistakes. And that go nope, that's the wrong one. Tile maps are fun. I need that one. Whee! Excuse me. Thank you. Let's zoom in so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Yeah, the idea of, you know, making a game is something I've wanted to do, wanted to do for quite a while and this seemed like the perfect opportunity. I actually use the right one there. Yes. It also kind of, me being a beginner going through this kind of hopefully also shows that, you know, it's fine to be terrible to begin with and you know not everything goes right first time round but uh you know oh i don't do crosswords jeez what did you take me for more of a word search person definitely not sudoku brain cannot handle that no idea why but you know da -da 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 -da. Kind of annoying that you have to switch to the pen tool and you can't just do like a one square rectangle. I know that's not really what the rectangle tool is for, but it would, you know, make my life a little easier. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Plus, it would also make sense if you guys could see what I was doing because I'm just currently counting to myself, which is a little weird, but hey. I don't know. If you feel like a webcam or whatever would add, then please do let me know. If you're happy just listening to weird construct radio, then great. Let's keep up with that. That's not. Oh, I put the pavements on the wrong way. Yeah, daft woman. On the plus side, fill. Yay for the fill tool. Now that one was right. No. There's the way around. I'm duh. I should really look at this more during the week so I actually remember like what I'm doing. You know what? Ah, <sighs> Resi. Right, yes. The pavements go into the road because that's how pavements work. You'd think I know as I drew all of this stuff. Whee! I'm probably drawing all of this wrong, but hey, so long as I've got somewhere to line up the transitions to, that's all we need right now. So that goes on there and comes up to the side. Yeah, that one. And yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we go round. Still using the wrong bloody corners. Uh, that one. Or something. Don't even know anymore. Okay, and at the top here we've got the school. Well, the school will go in when I've actually drawn the school. Hey, Mook! Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you dropping in while you're working. Happy to provide some form of mild entertainment while you're working. Granted, then, but entertainment might be a bit of a stretch. How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There. So actually all of that crap should be filled with road. Because I decided that would look fine. Yeah, though, no wonder I'm getting confused. I haven't fixed these ones. That goes there. I need my side ones to go there. Do one thing wrong and it screws you over for the whole thing. I mean, yesterday I got very annoyed at a single pair of quotation marks, which I'm sure I'm going to experience a lot in my game dev experience. Sleeping Panda Games, welcome to the stream. I suppose this is the good thing about not having a webcam, it's like literally just radio, so you can just listen along and pretend you're working. It's totally fine. Not that we condone this much. Oh, nope, that one. I don't understand why I struggle so much with corners. It shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> it really shouldn't. Yep. Whee! Okay, now, so that should also be 17, so that's there. So that should actually be where we are going to put our transition. Hooray, I'm figuring this out. <laughs> Ugh, jeepers. Why is it so hard? That one there, and there. Oh, really? Okay, that looks about right. So the idea is we won't put one, hang on, yeah, 
so there won't be a transition at the top yet because that goes out to a route and I have not even thought beyond the city yet but this right hand side should transition to the shopping district this bottom one should transition to entertainment that looks like it works that's out to a route that's into residential let's quickly throw shopping into the mix Whee! snap to grid please at least the grid size is already correct hooray all right phil where's me grass Whee. right so shopping Ooh. oh yeah i can't do my little tiles my cobblestones sad times it's been ages yesterday drawing cobblestones because i thought it would make the plaza look fancy so the idea with shopping is you'll have a nice big department store because everyone loves a department store and then a little uh, market in the middle how many buildings are in the city in total buildings that you can access um hang on buildings you can get into there are let's have a look three in residential four in entertainment once i've figured out what i'm going to do with the arcade um one in shopping but then you've got the outdoor market so there'll be loads of npcs milling around uh and then another four in research oh, i lost count so that's four eight between eight eleven twelve i think twelve buildings something like that Either way, many buildings. I did spend a little time this morning actually sorting out this tile map and trying to shrink it because otherwise I'm going to end up with an inordinate amount of tiles. And they already don't line up properly, so if they're going to not line up properly, I may as well get rid of all the duplicates. Uh, right. More pavement fun times. So where are we at with... So research, that's that one. So that should be 17 down on this side and that will be where the research transition comes across I'm going to mark this out with the road for now because I can't be bothered to figure out pavements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 right so that's that and then further 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up one, two, three, four, five. So there, put the thing there so I know where I'm going. One, two, three, six across. Oh, five, six. That should be where our external one will go. But don't need to worry about that, just need to know where it is. And then. In theory, zoom back out again. Down here, five. That should line up with residential. Yes, that looks reasonable. Cool. Doesn't matter if they don't line up 100% just so long as I can make this thing work. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's just fill in the rest of this. Oh, I thought I had that one on. Roads. Roads, yay roads. Now, three, four, five. Yeah, something like that. That looks plaza-ish. Okay, so. Now that we have various things laid out. Get rid of that. Let's see if we can make these things work. So, where we have this little guy down in the corner here. 
you'll see we've got some orange and some purple sprites. These are our what we're calling senders and receivers. Um, so basically when our little guy hits one of the orange squares, no nope, purple squares, purples are the senders, uh, when he hits a purple square he is sent to the new layout, it triggers a layout change and he should spawn where the corresponding receiver is. So each sender and receiver has its own ID so that I know which transition it is. It tells me which direction the player is hitting them at so that our animations always line up. Uh, tells me what layout they're going to. And here where we've got five of them, it's got their own trigger number so that we always have them lining up with each other when we do the layout change. Otherwise you can end up spawning a million miles away and it looks really weird, as we discovered. So the idea is we should just be able to add new pairs of senders and receivers and the system should be fine with that. There's only one way to find out I guess. Uh, okay so we are going to need five of those. Three, four, five. We made them a pixel smaller than the actual grid uh, because we kind of wanted to avoid a potential infinite loop of teleportation, which we did have uh, <laughs> for a little while when we were trying to figure this out. All right, so put those there. We'll stick snap to grid back on so that I can put the receivers in. One, three, four, five. Okay. Switch that back off. Okay. So these are the ones going up to shopping. So our senders, the new layout is going to be starting city shopping. Trigger number one. Actually, let's do that. We can change that all to starting city shopping. Uh, the direction is going to be up. Hey Luke, welcome to the stream. It was a very slow infinite teleportation loop, otherwise it would have been a good thing that neither of us are epileptic, nephew. Ah, uh, right. Uh, okay, so that is trigger number one, trigger number two, trigger three, trigger four, and trigger five. Uh, these ones, our receivers, also need to have starting city shopping. I need to see if I can change the instance variable names because new layout is quite confusing on the uh, receiver. Oh, but that's the point of having a test build. No worries, Metal Quacker. Don't work too hard. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for dropping in. Much appreciated. Three. And trigger number five. Uh, right, let me just, I realise what would have been very handy was to have my data spreadsheet open already. Pop into OneDrive. Uh, that one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, I don't, I figured it would be easier. Please tell me I actually have one open, do I not? Um, ah, there we go. Game data. Uh, where all these IDs are concerned, um, I have decided it's a good idea to keep track of all of this rubbish in a spreadsheet. So that if something's going wrong, I can figure out what the IDs should be and so on and so forth. So for this next one, we're doing 
Siva location sender. Siva? What is a Siva? Uh, sending location is in residential, but the receiver is in shopping. So we will give this an ID of three, and the direction is up. <clears throat> so go back to here. Let's give these the correct ID now of three. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. That's going to be four, probably. But those need an ID of three. So let's pop into shopping. So this should come out here, down the bottom. Oh, mate, spreadsheets. Spreadsheets for everything. I can never have enough spreadsheets. I dread to think of the number of spreadsheets I'm going to have by the end of this project. Or one spreadsheet with so many different sheets on it, it'll be just huge. Da -da -da -da. So, let's pop our receivers on. There's five of those. These are ID of three. That needs to be shopping. And the direction is up. Spreadsheet hype, exactly right, Mook. Oh, don't do that. You get it, Mook. Oh, that's because I haven't. Oh. oh, I don't have all my layers in here. That was silly. Lock that before I start driving myself mad with it. Uh, okay, so layers. I should have cloned Resi. It would have made my life so much easier. Uh, so I need six layers. Add, add. Six, that should be enough. So it's, we want collisions at the bottom. What else do we have? Uh, so transitions, then tile map four round. Uh, always use the clone or duplicate or whatever when you can, because it saves you a buttload of time. Though I will actually spell the word foreground correct this time. And then we have objects. Then what else do we have? Uh, tile map objects, tile map buildings, and tile map terrain. Doesn't really matter too much because I'm not going to put the buildings in and so on, but just so I put things in the right places. Terrain. Okay, so uh, let's unlock. that for a minute. Now we want to send that tile map to tile map terrain and now we can lock it, make it invisible so I can actually see these things and they need to go on to the objects layer. Lovely. That's better. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, you can lock objects in C3, Skyman. You just right click on a thing and make sure you're on the right thing. Lock. You can highlight different things and uh, lock a selection if you want to. I'm fairly sure it's in the beginner's guide. I don't know. Can't remember. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Makes life easier. Uh, where are we? We are on the objects layer. Highlight those, please, and thank you. And we want to turn off the grid so we can put them in the right place. Those are our receivers in place. Excellent. So that's trigger one. That needs to be trigger two. Trigger three. Trigger four. Trigger five. And all of those should have an ID of three and a direction of up with a new layout starting city shopping okay that's fine may as well put in the senders to go back to residential while we're here 
you don't read beginner's guides but i have to because a i was trying to do videos for them at one point and b i am a beginner so uh, da -da -da. pop my grip back on may as well change that so uh let's pop back into here fill in another bit of my spreadsheet so this is from shopping to residential and this is going to be id number four and the direction is down so that's fine so let's change that to id four direction down and the new layout is residential five where are we shopping turn off the grid uh, uh, there we go did i get the last one uploaded to youtube yes last week's streams are now on youtube they go up every monday So uh, me flapping around trying to make this work last week is now live on YouTube for everyone to see. Yay! Uh, da, 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 da. Right, trigger number one. Let's change these triggers so they should work. Oh, don't do that. Uh, four and five. Okay. So, in theory, that should now all line up. Our senders in shopping should match up with our receivers in Resi. I need to change their ID to four and the direction to down and the layout. resi that should work and then our senders for shopping here should match our receivers get off there okay right oh uh, no worries billy g glad you're enjoying them as long as someone finds them useful i mean i did also there is also now a written version of the tutorial on construct.net with uh, a mini example of this transition system so if you want to go and play around with that there is that as well uh it's i haven't said it as recommended i don't think so if you just go into newest tutorials you should be able to find it fairly quickly uh right let's see if this works Fair enough, no worries. Yeah, I will be doing streams for the foreseeable future. Providing you guys enjoy them, then may as well keep doing them. Dr. Gigantic, thank you for the follow. Ow. Oh, that's weird. That's very weird. Okay, well, something's going wrong there. What do I, what do I misaligned? Right, so the direction is being kept, that's fine. Trigger one, trigger two, trigger three, four and five. Those are all fine. I have no idea if we even went to the right layout on that one. Uh, what's the point? What is one, should be those, ow! Start as my senders are in the wrong bloody place. They definitely should not be there. Uh, have I got snapped a grid back on? Those go there. Do 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 do. Right. So receivers should now be in the same, in the right place and we have the senders to go back to residential that's fine
Let's see if that now works. Uh, actually, let me move this dude. I'm going to pop him up. Ooh. Let's pop the grip back on. Uh, we'll pop him there. That'll do. It's kind of between the two. <laughs> I mean, I'd be impressed if anyone had read the entire C3 manual. Although, if I remember rightly, on the old Skirish site, there were medals for reading loads of the manual. Was that a thing? Or am I making that up? Uh, do I actually need to turn off the grid to move the arrow keys? No. Um, the reason I've got the grid turned off is because the sender and receiver blocks are a pixel smaller on each side than the grid, and I want them not snapped to the same area of the grid. So they want to be in the middle of each square rather than snap to the top left corner. Uh, okay, so that looks fine. Let's see if it works this time. Probably won't. I'll inevitably have made some other mistake somewhere along the line. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, not entirely sure what is happening. Uh, okay. At least the transition's walking, that's something. Walking? Working? That's something. We are getting the change to the layout. We are just landing in completely the wrong place. Set position to trigger change X, trigger receiver Y. Hmm. Okay. Also, what layer are these things on? They are on the objects layer, so that's the right place. Okay, I, th I know, I, I think I've done that before by accident, Kiatric. I just couldn't remember what keys I'd pressed. Right. Okay, let's go back here. I want to make sure my variables are actually changing properly. It looks like the variables are changing fine, but just in case. This isn't debug, you muppet. Doopy doopy doo. Right. Make that bigger. Oh, so bright. Uh, system, please. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, right. So, along there. Okay. Back to system, please. Where are my global variables? Where have they gone? There. So, door ID should be changing to three. Yes, lovely. Previous layout should be changing to residential. Yes. And the target should be number three. Three? Yes, right. Variables are working. Lovely. That's fine. <clears throat> the next button in the debugger, so you don't need to add three breakpoints. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm still learning with debugger, so. Yeah, there probably is a typo somewhere. Um, right, let me have a look. Resi. So, sender. Starting city. Shopping, that looks like it's all spelt correctly. Where are we? Shopping, there we are. Those all look fine. But if we look at the pairs between entertainment and resi, uh, sender for that one 
New layout is entertainment. Receiver. Yeah. That needs to be, that's why, I think. So hang on, Re receiver is listing as residential. Sender is listing as entertainment. Sender is listing as shopping. I bet my receiver is also listing as shopping, isn't it? Yep. That'll be what it is. Residential. Okay. Let's see if that works. Should do. Nope, still wrong. Yeah, this is why I want to see if I can change the names of my things because the um, they both have an instance variable called new layout, though technically the receiver doesn't really have a new layout. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's going to... Why do I find this so hard? I had this problem yesterday, and although saying that yesterday my major problem was a pair of quotation marks when I was building the uh, example file. Blah, 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 blah. Right. So that is my sender to entertainment. Yeah. Where are we? That one. Set position to the trigger. Let's see how that works. Oh, I should have taken off the breakpoints for the uh, variables, but never mind. Be fine, we can just step through them. Variable, previous layout is residential, that should be fine. Target is fine. Ugh. Shrink that out a minute. So much easier with a second monitor. But never mind. So now we are in the transition. Blah blah blah. Skip through all that. Signal layout change. Yeah, this is the thing. I need to take those other breakpoints out because otherwise you just end up in a loop around the function and it's weird. Discovered that yesterday. Right. Hmm. Right. So that doesn't seem to actually be happening given that we didn't hit the breakpoint. Which is a bit odd. Also, what layout are we even on? I assume this is the shopping one. Um, yes, yeah, so we are we are actually going to the right layout, so that's fine. It's just not triggering this. So something here is not adding up. Oh, okay. See, I'm still getting used to breakpoints. So yeah, new layout obviously doesn't equal previous layout or something, either or the trigger number doesn't equal the previous layout target if this is the bit that's not happening. So, uh, do I still have that open? No, I closed it. Oop. Da, 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 da. So we'll try disabling new layout is equal to previous layout. We'll see if that works. Nope. Uh, I will do this one. Coding is fun, kids. 
Hmm, okay. Okay, let's try disabling both. Do 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 do. Now I'm very confused. <laughs> also, our title, our movement thing is completely squiffed. Okay. That was fun. He knows, guys. Skyman knows. I hope so, because I don't. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. You are exactly right. <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. You absolute genius. Ah. Oh. Save that. Right. <sighs> Debugging master. Yay! And this is why you earn the right to be. <laughs> I've not got those set up properly either. <laughs> this is why you've earned the right to uh, be my number one fan, Skyman. I, I wish I could help you, Dark Jason, but honestly, I have no idea how I'd even go about making a shader. So, uh, I'm really not the person could have played to complain to. <laughs> Actually, I am intrigued whether Skyman or Luke has more points. Because that's the true test. Uh, okay, so that was that fun. Skyman's on 246. Mr. Balrog, hello! Oh, there you go. Yep, Skyman is, uh, Skyman's winning. Luke may be keep, Luke may keep cropping up in, uh, my streams, but... <laughs> yes, there are lurker points, there are follow points, there are... I, I kind of tweaked around with the points today. Uh, but yeah, there's also, for those of you who are uh, really active in chat there'll be more points I don't know what we're gonna do with the points maybe we'll have some kind of way you can play games with them or something I need to have a look into uh, how this is going yes Mook there are points chat 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 yes please don't spam <laughs> mm. yes unlike uh, unlike some other streamers we know Mook I have not set up any uh, actual rewards for this yet and I don't know what I'll do but hey there's a thing there's potential uh there you can't do it for each message I don't think I need to look at how it's set up there are definitely buffers so that you can't just keep spamming chat and earning loads of points each massage well no one's giving me a massage yet so uh, clearly I'm doing something wrong uh, da, 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 trigger one, trigger two, trigger three, trigger four, and trigger five. ID four, direction down, pop back in here, and go back up to the top. Now we are coming from shopping, and that's trigger one. I should highlight those and make my life much easier. Starting city shopping down and the triggers should be set to multiple numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. Let's make sure that actually works. <laughs> that is true, the main reward is the pride. And you know, if at some point we implement a way to use those points, then hey, bonus! Yay, there we go. Actually got it working. Hooray. So that's uh, three of our layouts now linked in some way, which is lovely. Yay, exciting. 
in theory the um there should be a little leaderboard at the bottom where all the panels are but i don't actually know if that's updated or not so you guys can always keep an eye on who's beating who ha 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 who loves a bit of friendly competition we do all uh, right blind we've nearly been at this for an hour and i've only done one transition ha Mm. Well, at least the panel's there. I will uh, keep an eye on that and see if I can make sure it actually uh, pulls the data through from Streamlabs. It could be that I only put it in like half an hour ago. Well, a bit longer than that, but you know what I mean. It's okay, Mook. You get points for lurking. It's totally fine. Pro tip, there's also points for hosting. <laughs> I don't, actually I hadn't thought about having a follower character. That could be quite fun. Hey, it doesn't matter how many followers you've got, you still get the points, I think. Uh, right, let's go into shopping. And we shall put in some more transitions. So basically, hopefully the goal is that we can actually walk all the way around the square of the city. And then I know this actually will work. <laughs> uh, right. Let's pop the grid back on. Oh, there was a ding. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for the host, Mook. <laughs> I think that's 50 points. I don't remember. I only set it up like an hour ago, but I think it's 50 points. <laughs> 50 points to Gryffindor. I apologise if you're not a Gryffindor, but you know. I did put that in. I put running shoes in in something. I made a little project up and I was like, how can we do running shoes? And... I had it so that you could hold down a button and it would make you run faster, but I couldn't quite work out how to have as, have it as a button. So I figured you'd probably end up with an instance variable that if you pressed, say, B, it would change the value and then that would set the animation speed. <laughs> Mook's suddenly jumping up the uh, leaderboard there. Yeah, get back to work. Get back to work, Mook. Don't keep listening. We love you. Uh, but yes, Nepio, running shoes are definitely on the list. And who knows, maybe a bike or something. I'm kind of thinking about how maybe we can... Because uh, obviously in Pokemon you've got the HM moves. Or as you did, they changed that in the new ones, but still. Uh, if we could have, rather than that, so you have an item in your bag. So you have an axe or a... Thing or an axe or a boat or whatever. If you ignore the fact that, you know, you would never fit a boat in a bag, but whatever. Oh, it's always a dinghy. You get the idea. There we go. Pop those in there. <laughs> you rhymed and you didn't even know it. Well done, Mook. There you go, Mr. Balrog. Getting some points up there. Well done. Well done. I hope the leaderboard does uh, sort itself out so, you know, you guys can all see how stunning you all are uh okay so this is going to be shopping and it goes to research area i feel like i should probably find a way to put xl into dark mode because it's a bit of a, a bit of a shock to the system switching from construct 3 in dark mode uh this is shopping going to research Lovely. And this will be ID number five. And the direction is left. Lifter. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I've watched a few of the Pokemon Dorkly videos, but I can't remember if I've seen that one. Is it the... 
No, which ones are they? The um, oh, I can't remember. There's so many little YouTube um, Pokemon mock video things. Okay, so this is going left, and we want the new layout is research. Now, how did I do this on Resi? Is it up and down? Oh, that's five, so we go top to bottom. That's okay. I need my trigger number system to be the same, because otherwise I'll just get confused. Three, oh, three, no, three, four, five. Oi, five, thank you. Uh, yeah, I feel like there must be some kind of way to do that, um, so we don't blind, I don't blind everyone whenever I need to put something in a spreadsheet. Um, alternatively, I just write it down manually and then uh, <laughs> put the data in off stream because uh, the last thing I need is to blind everyone and myself because I haven't picked up some fancy computer glasses yet. Uh, right, that's shopping. So uh, I shall might as well set these up while I'm here. This is going to be ID number six, I believe, because it's going to be going from. Uh, uh, research to shopping. Direction will be right. So the new layout is shopping, I believe. Oh god, don't know. Don't press random buttons, woman. Cool. Trigger one. I need to make this bigger because otherwise I keep getting the uh, rotation arrows and that's just annoying. And number five. Cool. So we pop into research now. Those should come out here. So our receiver goes there. No, it doesn't. Oh, too many. <sighs> Lock that those there and our senders go there quickly oh yeah you say alt nope control nope shift no nope. oh god no okay you know we'll, we'll just disable the grid be easier one there we go they're nicely in the middle now turn the grid back on oh blimey it's a bit warm in here. <sighs> so this is the sender to go the other way, so let's go for the receiver first. So that's ID 5, direction is left. Uh, new layout should be research. I think, wait. Uh, sender for entertainment, receiver is residential, so those need to be shopping. Oh, stop it! Shopping! Okay, oh I should highlight them all, shouldn't I? I will learn, eventually. Five left, starting city, shopping. Cool, trigger number one, two, three, four, and five. And the sender's going the other way. Right, the new layout is shopping. Shopping. One, two, three, Three, four, and five. Okay, so the new layout for that one is shopping, and the receiver, that should be correct. Uh, yeah, we're gonna test it. Do, 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 do. So you know what, before I do this, uh, let's do, 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 do. Hmm. 
I'm an event. Oh, I haven't put the keyboard in, have I? Um. No, I have not put the keyboard in. Let's do that quickly. And then I'll just put a thing in that says when we hold down the space bar, we run faster because otherwise we're going to be here forever. Keyboard. Uh, yeah, key is down. Space bar. Do, 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 do. Player base. Actually, hang on. Got a better idea. Rather than do this. Where's my player? There he is. Do 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 do. Speed. Two fifty. Cool. That'll do. Should be quick enough. Oh, I broke it. How did I break it? <laughs> Get rid of all that. There we go. Works again. We're fine. We are fine. There we go. That's all we needed to do. <laughs> la, 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 la. Run across here. Hopefully. Nope. Oh, those aren't set up properly. Cool. Good to know. Uh, also, are these, is everything on the right layer? No, because I have... Oh god, everything's going to be in the wrong place on here, isn't it? Because I haven't moved it around all the layers. <sighs> I don't have any layers. Uh, right, so that is transitions. Rename tile map foreground objects. Um, tile map objects one. Uh, tile map buildings. I'm impressed I remember all this. Tile map terrains and collisions. None of this really matters right now, but hey, all of those need to be on the objects level. Uh, the tile map needs to be on the terrains level. There we go. Let's lock that again. Uh, now let's just see. Because it looked like he was in the right place, but it's quite probable he was underneath the tile map. Yay! Nope, okay. It's going back wrong, but going in is fine. Cool. Uh, what are we looking at? Trigger one, trigger two, trigger three, trigger four, trigger five. And those. Three. Although, is things. Have I got things in the wrong place on here as well? Quite possibly. Those are on the objects layer. Uh, that's definitely on the right layer. Let's lock that again. And lock the layer. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, it's the new layout of shopping. And those, I think, should say research. Which is probably why. Uh, starting. City research. Quick preview. This is much better. Now he could move so much faster. Whee! That's fine. And that's fine. Hooray! Oh, that just means we need to put in the ones between entertainment and research. Then I need to figure out what I'm going to do for like the next hour. Ugh. God, I have to entertain you guys. Jeez. Mm. 
I could bore you with more tile mapping, but uh, I do need to see what those look like in game. Actually, I could just drop them in as sprites. It's not a bad idea, just to see how the uh, new things I have designed look. Exactly, Nepio. Are you not entertained? Uh, where are my things? Transitions. There they are. So we need a receiver. What I should really do is uh, put in some stuff around the outside so that you can't just wander off the layer because bound to layout was being weird. I'm not entirely sure why. Nope, this is entertainment. Okay. They're now in the right place. Lovely. Okay. So, this is going to be ID number seven. And the new layout is research. And the direction is up. Cool. Oh. that done. Let's zoom in and give them the right trigger numbers. One, two, oh, no, three, not six this time. Ooh, four, five, six. Cool. Might as well do the triggers on here while we're at it. One, two, three, four, Five and six, and these are going. Oh, just lock everything. Okay, and those are going to be. So if those are ID seven, this is going to be ID eight. Direction will be down, and that I think is okay. Let's go back into research. Go down the bottom here. Oh good, there are six. I thought my roads didn't match up, but that was going to be weird. I want to put it on that layer. I'll put that on. Objects. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So, please don't do that. Those are ID 8, and those are ID 7. Direction is down, and the new layout is actually entertainment, so that's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Um, okay. Those, the new layout should, I believe, be research. Direction is up. That's fine. Trigger one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right, so I think that's eight, or have I said that as seven? Um, pop that down there. That is seven, I got the wrong way around. Stupid. Okay, those have an ID of seven. Those, this is why you work with a spreadsheet. Eight. Oh, well, I guess let's see if we've got it right first time. Probably not, but hey, there's a first time for everything. Okay, we're back in here and almost. <laughs> Get the layout change, I've not got them lined up properly. Cool. So sender goes to entertainment. What are those receivers? That's why they're set up to that one. Those should be set up to 
that I believe really hope I spot that right let's go this way make sure it works Whee! and look it's the gym thing that we're not call a gym oh that was weird Oh, right, okay. This is why I need to make, this is why I need to put more things on my layout so I know which one's which. Uh, okay, so that's, this is entertainment going up. We end up in the top of research, which is not right. So something's wrong here. Sender goes to research. Are oh, my receivers in entertainment set in research setup wrong? Yes, they are. Right, final time in theory. All four should, famous last words, now work. Woohoo! Okay, we've been round clockwise. Let's go around anti clockwise. Yeah, we can go all the way around the city now. That's exciting. Ah, we have a working transition system. Oh, I'm so happy that worked and that it's scalable. Which means that in theory, I can now just put in as many transitions as I want for area changes. Yay, this is great. Let's save this for the love of Jeff. Uh, Right, what time is it? 10 to 3. We're going to go until half 3. Guess we could attempt to do like. Actually, that's before I do that. Uh, let me. What are we on? We're on research. I don't have those. I want entertainment. What I will do. Because I can't be bothered to mess around with the tile maps right now, I'm just going to drop these in as sprites. Although the museum's going to look a bit weird. Uh, ow. Come on, OneDrive. Uh, let's pop the theatre in. Are you going to work for me? Yes! Lovely. Okay, theatre. Does help you put it on the right layer. I'll stick it on the objects layer for now, just because I'm only putting it in to see how it looks. Lovely. So that should be the right size already to slot in there. Where does it sit? How close to the top? Right at the top. Not that far at the top. There we go. Actually, it's not. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm still not convinced. Let's get the museum in and then we'll do a little preview and see how it looks. I'm not convinced about the lines at the bottom of that. They look a bit too jagged for me. But then so does the gym. It looks a little bit better in the game. Um, insert. Now, is it that one? Nope. It's that one. Yeah, so because of the way the tiles are laid out, the front of the building isn't quite attached. But I don't care. It'll be fine. <laughs> this will do for now. Um, I say it's be much easier if I actually had bothered to sort out my tile map, but that does require me changing the tile map for the whole game, and all of my tiles will disappear, and I really can't bother with that right now. Uh, so yeah, that, that sits there-ish, which is fine. Uh, okay, let's have a look and see how bad my lines look. Ooh. Do 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 do. Let's uh, expand that so you can't see them. So yeah, the gym doesn't look awful. I do need to tweak the shadows a bit because they look like they're the same colour as the road and that's a bit weird. But oh well. Uh, actually, that's not awful. That's not bad. 
the museum. The roof looks better now. I've added the little extra dish definition. There's a little bit of extra definition at the front. Might need to bring the shadow down on this side a little bit. Unfortunately, we can't really get a feel for the front because I have to build that. And actually, eh, it's still a little bit jagged. Hmm. Still not convinced. Doesn't look quite right. The shadows are a bit off on the right hand side too. I like the design. The shape I think needs a bit of work. Um, I may drop a screenshot in the forums and see what you guys think. Because I like the idea of having the building split on two angles on the side, but actually drawing that and making it look decent in pixel art is quite hard, apparently. Um, hmm. But hey, for now it'll do as a placeholder. At least I know which thing I'm on when I drop down in this now. Well, that's fine. Sweet! Okay. So we have that. Uh, okay. We still have 40 minutes. So, I am tempted. Now, at some point, we are going to have to have interior changes. Now, the question is, do we use the same system and the same items, or do we have a separate system for interior changes, so from going from outside to inside? I suppose technically it's still an area change. The insides will still be their own layouts. Uh, let me just tidy this up a bit. Uh, exterior. All of those go in there. And then we want a subfolder. Come on. Thank you. For interior maps. Not that I have anything to design an interior map for, but you know, those tiles will come. Uh, so add a layout, layout only. Um, we can leave it at uh, 480 by 320. Eh, I'm going to leave it like that, I don't really care. Uh, literally all I need to do is just drop in um, a tile background will do, just so we know that we're on that layout. Should I throw it? That'll do, cool. Um, this is literally just a test to see if this will actually work. I'm not entirely sure, but hey, we'll give it a try. Uh, that's fine. Um, actually, I don't need them, but let's just duplicate that. Uh, rename it interior test. Pop that in there. And open that up. So those, get rid of. Those we can get rid of. And we can get rid of the tile map. Uh, we don't want this to be this big. Purely duplicated just so that I can have all of those bits in there. Uh, what was it? 480 by 320. Let's say that. Let's just do it as 160 by 160. 10 by 10. Oi. 160 by 160, please. Thank you. Uh, it's smaller than the viewport, but that's fine. Because this is literally just me figuring out if this is going to work. It should do. I would have thought. Okay. So, if we take a residential, for example, and if we drop... Still on the objects layer. Oh, no. If we drop a sender onto one of these doors... The sender's going to have to be there, I think. Which is going to be fun, because there's a solid there. Uh, let me move my collisions up a minute. Yeah, so that's going to need to go. It's 
do that. Extend that up. Extend that up. And that can go there. I'm hoping this shouldn't make a difference because as soon as we hit that sender, the movement controls should be disabled so we shouldn't be able to walk on the building. That's the hope, anyway. So the sender goes there and the receiver goes on the door so we walk out. I should have left snap to grid off for that. Okay, so that goes there. Lovely. Uh, interior test. We want a receiver. Here-ish. I really don't care where they sit because this is just a test. And a sender the other side. Um, they are on completely the wrong level. So lock that. Move those onto the objects level. Um, that's fine. So one, two, three, five. Um, hopefully I'll remember where that is. I probably won't, but never mind, whatever. Uh, okay, so the sender is going to interior test. The direction is up. Our ID is nine. There is only one of them, so we don't need to change the trigger number. That is coming into starting city residential. Oh, this is where things are going to get tricky because there's already going to be a receiver with the number one. Hmm, okay. So I think... Although no! The other ones work. So maybe this will work. Let's find out. Uh, trigger one. Trigger one. Uh, ID nine. Direction down. That's going to be ID ten, isn't it? Because it's coming back out. ID ten. Uh, should go into interior test. Should come out to residential. Okay. So that new layout uh, should be interior test. ID 9, direction up, trigger number 1, ID 10, direction down, starting city, residential, trigger number 1, okay, can't spell. No, wait, those are wrong, aren't they? Um, city shopping. Shopping. Interior test. That should also be interior test. I think. And that should be residential. Okay, let's find out if this works with doors. Kinda. Uh huh. Okay. So it sort of does what we're stuck in a loop. Ah, that'll be why. Let's move. I need to move that. No, not rotate it. Okay, let's try that. Ah! It does work. Neat. Okay, well that's good. Although I... Did I include it? I did include it. Um. Hmm. Let's try that again. That something didn't look quite right.
One, two, oh wait, hang on. Oh no, I duplicated it, so the grid size should be the same. That's fine. Oh, it would appear that my chat has uh, stopped on my iPad. Let's uh, refresh that. Oh, why internet? Why do you do this to me? I feel like this booth is, might be a mild Faraday cage. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so... Uh, Oh, wait, if Cloudflare is having an outage, then it's entirely possible that Streamlabs is also affected. Let me... Um, okay. You'll have to let me know if that weird... Um, what was it? It was a weird error the other week when Streamlabs wasn't working. You'll have to let me know if that appears in the bottom corner of the uh, stream again. Uh... Yeah, my iPad seems to have completely given up on life, which is mildly irritating. Which is Twitch. And there we go. We've got some life back in it. Uh, that's a bit strange. Apparently we have a stream summary for today, but we're still streaming. Thanks, Twitch. Um... I assume everything's still fine. Can you guys still hear me and stream still looks okay, right? It's not gone. Pete Tong, as it were. Oh, good. That's fine. Sorry, I have a minor panic when uh, Cloudflare goes funny. Uh, I can see it on my iPad now that Twitch is working again. But uh, Streamlabs on my phone doesn't seem to be picking it up anymore. So, yeah, that might suggest that Cloudflare is affecting Streamlabs like it did last time. Hooray! Just what we need. Either way, it looks like doors work, which is quite exciting. Uh, what I am going to do, because something didn't look quite right. Uh, do I have... I should do... That'll do. We'll just take the building one. Um... Snap that back to grid. <laughs> this is the problem when a service that a lot of things rely on goes funny. We're all screwed. Whee! Okay, that's that one there. And then this is our pretend door. Okay, so hopefully... It could be that I just had a really tiny interior and it didn't quite load fill enough of the viewport, which looks correct. I just want to make sure we can't run off the edge. Right, so we can't go that way. Can't go that way. Nope, that's fine. That is literally just how big the viewport is, which makes sense. Uh, where's the door? There. Yay, my system works for doors. This is quite exciting. So, uh... Yay! Fun. Let's pop the collisions back where they're supposed to be. Back down there. Oh, did I put that on the collisions thing? I did. That was silly. That needs to be on the objects layer. There we go. Ah. So, at least now when we preview we should be able to not see those, but still walk in. It's kind of annoying that you get to the top edge of the door. What are you, what are you? Kind of, depends how you hit it. Hmm. Maybe we... Oh, no, because then it's going to connect with that, and then there'll be an overlap, and you'll end up in a teleport loop. Ah. Hmm. That's annoying. Oh well. Let's just let's just give it a quick try. We've still got ages. Um bum 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 bum. Let's move so it's what is it? Uh 
97, let's make that 98 and see if we get stuck in a loop. Yeah, we do. That's annoying. So you're just gonna have to hit the top of the door, but never mind. I'm sure it'll be barely noticeable. I could just change the artwork to make the door slightly larger. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Uh... Yeah, it's not awful. And to be fair, if you're going that quickly, you don't really notice it. But this is good. This means I have one system. I can use it for doors. I can use it for inside to outside. I can use it for any layout change that I need. And that makes me very happy because oh, I don't have to play any more coded for it, which is very exciting. Hooray! It's fairly easy to set up, which is quite nice. Oh, okay, to be fair, like, my phone has disconnected from Wi-Fi. That could be why it's not picking up chat. Eh. Okay. Okay, so what I might do... So this is our... This is my tester. Save that. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, a little water break. So, let's pop into the cloud a minute. Do, 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 do. Actually, to be fair, let's just quickly see. Uh, so, let's see if we can chuck in a uh, running shoes thing. Pop that into system objects. Okay, so if we take our player base and give it another instance, give it an instance variable uh, called running, make that a boolean, initial value is false, is the player running? I've noticed this is going to work, but hey, let's find out, add event. Uh, da, 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 da. Where are we? Keyboard. On key pressed. Space. Okay. Done. Add action. Um, player. Player base. Toggle boolean. Is this variable running? Okay, so that toggles the running, and then player base, player sprite, player base even. Um, compare is instance variable set is running. Had action player player base. Uh, where's my tile movement? There. Set speed to two hundred and two hundred. Done pop that there. See if that works. Oh hang on, I used to change the initial light, the initial uh, speed, don't I? 100, 100. I'll turn off default controls. Just in case. I don't know if that'll work. Right now, so we need to take that off. Default controls. Okay, so we're slow. Spacebar. Spacebar. Oh. Okay, so we can toggle it on. But. Can't toggle it off. Okay. Uh, okay. What's a start? Hmm. Oh, 
okay. Ta. Add. Else. Player. Base. Set speed. To 100. Does that go in there? I feel like that should be under there. Or something. Nope, that's not right. Okay, let's see if it works. Yay! There you go, we have running. If I was really sensible, what we'd then do is also set the speed. Uh, actually, what's it set to now? Five, blah, blah, blah. five. Cool. Player sprite. Set speed to ten. Sure. Set speed to five. Done. Ah, now he actually moves faster. Yay! There we go, we have a running system. Which is nice because it's auto run, so you don't have to hold down spacebar, you can just run around everywhere if you want to. Oh, which everyone will do anyway. So half the time I wonder why we don't just make them run all the time anyway. But whatever. Hey, running shoes. Well that's nice. So it looks like I'm gonna have some fun actually porting this into my big project when I've uh, finally finished this tile map. Um, yeah, what's annoying? Um, oh, I have two tile backgrounds. That was silly. Oh well, I'll tidy that up later. Um, Oh, I changed it in here! Oh, I'm such an idiot. Duh. Uh, version 3. Let's have a laugh and see how much this breaks everything. Oh god, that's awful. Ha! <laughs> everything is broken. Trez, trez broken. It's gonna be even worse when I actually put together the tidied up one that I've taken all the duplicates out of because... Oh, I'll just punch the microphone. Uh, the current one that I'm working on has a stupid amount of tiles. I mean the theatre alone if you look at the size of it that's 140 odd tile 440 odd tiles on a second. I'm sorry I moved and I didn't mean to hit the microphone it's, it's there, it's very close to me also it wasn't actually the microphone it was the, like the little noise guard that we have But yeah, I don't want to like fill this tile map with duplicates if I can avoid it because I've got another, what, the arcade, department store, school, hospital and all the research stuff um, to include as well. So it's going to be a huge tile map if I include all the duplicates. Um, and I only need to use them for this, so it doesn't matter if it's a weird, awkward tile map to begin with. Uh, yeah. So that brings us to a good closing point, I think. Let's pop into interior test a minute. Right. Unlock that. That's tile background too, so let's just get rid of that for the minute because we don't need both of them in there, and we will save this. Um, okay. I, mean, I don't really need interior test, but it can stay there for now just to prove that I've got it working, which is nice. I feel like I'm starting to make some actual decent progress with this, which is quite cool. Um, it is now quarter past three. I don't feel like it's worth us 
starting anything new because realistically I can't achieve much in 15 minutes. Uh, I could do some tidying of the tile map but as I say I've still got more artwork assets to do so that seems kind of pointless. Um, next we can talk about the uh, state of how things are going with the game. Um, as I say I've got I've still got what how many buildings so residential is done it just needs some sprucing up here and there a bit more detail put into the paths and stuff and I might change that bit down the bottom here uh, so the pavement comes a bit closer to the buildings here because you can walk behind the roof um, entertainment obviously I need to put the museum in as a proper tile set because then the building will actually line up uh, I think the theatre is going to need some tweaking but uh, yeah I might just I'm kind of annoyed I do like the whole two angle thing but it just doesn't look right it looks really clunky but oh well uh, yes yeah, so the only thing left to design in entertainment is the arcade and I have genuinely no idea what to do with that but there we go that's going in this big empty space here uh, the shopping district we zoom out on that one I need to design the department store which will fit in the top left I've got some nice cobblestone -y tiles to kind of differentiate from this big black mass of tarmac and we'll have a nice little market in the middle uh, NPCs you can talk to and other bits and pieces uh, maybe a religious lunatic who's snuck into this town of science should be a laugh uh, and then research we've got a school going in the top right a hospital Pokemon Center whatever the heck I'm gonna call it probably a medical center uh, in this bit of tarmac here and then the entire left hand side of the layout is going to be uh, a combination of three buildings or maybe no two buildings one uh, and the bottom bit which we'll call trainer admin so that'll be when you decide to register as whatever I'm going to call a trainer uh, you'll go to that building and you'll start on your registration process which will take you into the big building behind it which will be the lab slash beginners trial um, in a traditional Pokemon game you normally you know go out onto the first route and get shown how to catch a Pokemon and blah 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 I figured it would probably be easier for my sanity uh, to include everything in the first city. So the point of the beginner's trial is that all new trainers have to go there to complete various tasks to register themselves. Uh, so that will be where you can choose your first creature, you get shown how to battle, you get shown how to capture and various bits and pieces. So I can have all of these core mechanics in one location in the game. And then once I've got all of that in place, we can start building out further. I don't know if this is going to work, but it sounded good in my head. <laughs> Plus, you know, it's different from Pokemon, which helps. Mm. Excuse me. So yes, I have still got quite a few assets to design. I want a lot of little detail things to go in. So outside the school, I'd quite like a little playground, maybe some bikes. Um, I want some more nature bits and pieces some rocks and so on and so forth because obviously we don't want people walking off the edges of these layouts so we'll need various bits of nature and whatnot to block off the edges some different kind of trees and bits and pieces so there is still a lot of tile work to do but making good progress which is quite exciting I hope that you know you guys will stick around more for this journey uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to talk about in the blog on Friday now. Maybe some more tile work or uh, bits and pieces. How we do uh, interiors and whatnot. Or if you have something you'd like me to talk about, please, please do let me know. That's what the forum is for. Uh, and I didn't set up the stupid uh, thing to... Uh, tell you about the forum post but never mind there is a forum post uh, so if you 
Let's see if I can do that actually without screwing up Twitch. Should be quite nice and a rarity really. So do 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 do. Copy that. Let's see if this works. Come on Twitch, let me post in my own chat box please. There we go. So if you want to join in the conversation, that is the place to do it. Uh, there are links to the blog in that forum post. I also put a link to the new tutorial, which will show you uh, much more eloquently than I have today, how to build out those transitions that I've been doing. So setting up your senders, your receivers, making sure everything's aligned and so on and so forth. And uh, you too can have a fancy scalable transition system. Isn't that exciting? Mm. So I'm honestly running out of things to rabbit on about for these last 10 minutes. So uh, it's probably time we close this off, really. Um, I guess thank you everyone who has bopped into the stream today. Thank you, Mook, for dicking around while you should be working. Thank you to Luke. Thank you to Skyman for helping me debug earlier. Napio and Kiatric for always being here. Don't forget now you can check your points with the exclamation mark points command. So I want to see all you guys, you know, competing to be the best like no one ever was. Mook, how have you suddenly got 251 points? That's insane. <laughs> oh, okay. Kiatric's got 335. That's, that's okay. Kind of balances it out a bit. Oh, <laughs> Luke, we've had this conversation before. We told you about caps. <laughs> I will go in and tweak the auto mod settings because uh, there are times when, you know, excitement in caps lock is appropriate, but uh, it's currently set on quite heavy, I think, on the cap stuff. <laughs> I tried to have it so that it is not like, you know, overbearing, but clearly you just upset the bot. <laughs> Yeah, no fun allowed. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll go sort that out. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so hopefully by this time next week, we'll also have the affiliate stuff set up, which will be very exciting. Uh, so does mean that, you know, if for whatever reason I'm not here, I can set up reruns. So you won't miss me too much. And yeah, I am now melting in this booth, so I am definitely going to call it a day. And I hope that you guys enjoy your afternoons. I hope you had fun on the stream today. I certainly did, and I feel like we've actually made some progress, which is excellent. Streamlabs is having a proper fit. And isn't giving me a remote control at all now, which is delightful. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> lovely. So yeah, cheers guys. It's been lovely. Hopefully see you all on Thursday when we'll be playing more Iconoclasts. We're getting through that game quite nicely now. I believe we left it off still in the Shockwoods, so more or electricity fun times and mental bosses to uh, deal with. Yeah, I figured Cloudflare would still be having problems, but hey, whatever. Such is life. So yeah, thanks everyone. It's been lovely having you. Enjoy the rest of your afternoons and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye guys! <laughs>